Travis went good, so. Uh, brand new today, so I'm holding off on the hour-long video to upload, because this is going to be quicker, I'm hoping. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, First Presidency announces annual tithing declaration. It's going to replace tithing settlement, and it begins September 1st. And uh, we're going to have to review tithing. Uh, it comes from Malachi, in which uh, Malachi says it's supposed to be for the poor. And so I'd always been brought up thinking, oh, okay, I'm giving to the poor by giving to the church with my tithing. But then fast offerings, and I was confused. And what then is tithing used for if fast offerings are for the poor with the bishop's storehouses? And I uh, come to find out that I'm giving money as atonement to Jesus to the church. That's reparations as atonement. And it's supposed to be Jesus who atoned for us so that we don't have to pay the price for our sins. And yet here the church is demanding money from us to atone to the church. Uh, the other thing is that uh, when it's used as extortion, <clears throat> you can't be exalted, you can't hold office, you can't go to the temple, for example. It becomes a protection racket, as it's now called in the United States. It's uh, where uh, you do the church a favor, though, by paying them money. And remain loyal to them and uh, they're holding uh, your exaltation and your membership hostage uh, for payment pay to play and that is a crime protection racket crime and nobody seems to know and recognize that I guess you guys haven't been watching R-rated movies <laughs> Sopranos for example and, uh, and and so uh, this tithing declaration is it is again for loyalty purposes to show that you're loyal and that you're a full tithe payer and blah blah blah. There's also other crimes that I've exposed previously about how they're taking um, tithing from those who are on government assistance. Government money does not go towards tithing, and you know. I, the gambling stuff, I don't really care about exposing that. Who cares? It's taking government money. So when you got your COVID uh, emergency relief money, uh, the, what was it, three separate times we got it? That's not to go to the church. You're not supposed to give any of it to the church. If any of it did go to the church, it would be on their financial records, and that would get the church in trouble. So if you want to get the church in trouble, Mormons, I surely do. Go ahead and do it. I dare you. But uh, apparently the federal government doesn't want to take down the church for their blatantly obvious crimes, as they're able to stop uh, Australia from proceeding with criminal prosecution against them. That's a big, and nobody's covering it in the news. They covered it when it was exposed by the press there in Australia that the church had offshore accounts in violation of Australian law. But uh, yeah, all of a sudden it's gone quiet. So yeah, and, and it says that it's so that the leaders can put more pressure on you to pay. Oh, it doesn't say that, Travis. <laughs> it, I'll quote, giving local leaders more time to discuss covenants, the loyalty oaths in the temple endowment of Brigham Young, and the divine commandment of tithing. See? You never believe me. You're not listening. You don't care just want to argue and gaslight me and get mad at me it's just ridiculous I know the truth guys so when you get all mad oh, you you just get out of here
trying to get mad at me so I'll feel guilty and cave in to your false belief system. Go to hell. So that's the breaking news today. Uh, so far, as that change is being made, and presiding Bishop Gerald, Gerald Cos, Cosse, whatever it's pronounced. I think it's French, not sure. <clears throat> so basically, it's presiding Bishop. And that's French for you. Everything's silent. Can you imagine that? Because bishops, I, they don't have a script. They're just going off on their own doctrine now. That I told you this was going to happen. That you're going to have all these different wards, all these different doctrines. And just like Christianity from the, the Joseph Smith history that he's talking about for the first vision. All these different Christian sects, all preaching different gospels, all claiming that it's the same Christ with all these different gospels. And it's just... They all want to deceive and lie to us. And so you'll have Mormons that are now split. Well, I'm of this ward, and he, our bishop, told us this about tithing. Well, our bishop told us this about tithing, and it was backed up by the stake president, who made sure all of his bishops used... <laughs> you know that's going to happen. So, yeah. We'll get this one out, and then we'll get the hour-long one out.